Hello everybody, today is Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, June 28th, and it is 6.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just getting around to making today's video a spectacular day, particularly in the bonds. Before I continue, first, the required disclaimer. Okay, I have the time and sales here on the left, the E-mini S&P now at 614, almost 615, trading at 2443.25. It was a trend day all the way, all the way up, and uh, we had great performance in the bonds and some other markets. Uh, first up is the bonds on the Superenco 6 tick. This did pretty good yesterday, and then today we had two back-to-back -back trades that are about as good as it could possibly get. We had along we were filled on our limit order early in the session and excellent trade placement got out at the top of the move here and then went short the other direction and got out near the bottom of the move if i bring the bars a little bit closer together we can see uh, the ensuing action here but to catch this two trades uh, back to back would be uh, very difficult trading discretion much less uh, holding a trade this long is very difficult, as you all know. Uh, so uh, hitting our goal of 2000 for the day in the bonds, just excellent performance there. Okay, next up is the bonds on a uni Renko chart. This is a new time frame that I'm trying, and today it did not disappoint. This is a, a uni Renko chart, and we did 1158. I think we hit our goal of 1200 on this one. Our goal was 1,500, so just a little bit shy of, the, of our goal. This is only trading two contracts, uh, profit target of eight ticks on the first contract, and we are using a limit order at the close of the bar, and a uh, number of trades here, but really didn't take any heat. So solid performance here on the bonds in a different time frame. Now, one of the reasons I show different time frames is to show that the auto trader is extremely versatile and doesn't rely on a particular time frame or a particular market to perform well. You can adapt it to almost any bar type, including uh, other vendor bar types, and it can trade um, just about anything as long as you have good volume and good volatility. Okay, our 377 tick line break chart in the bonds also did really well today. Uh, doing a thousand dollars, not sure what the goal is here. It's fifteen hundred, but still, uh, once again, excellent performance. And this one, um, again, we use limit orders so we don't have slippage, and we are using our line break algorithm. You've seen this over and over and over again. So again, solid performance in the bond. Okay, excellent performance in the Dow E-mini contract. It was a trend day up for the financial indices. We started out with a small loser early in the session, and that was followed by four winners in a row. And as I've stated many times, it would be nearly impossible to catch four trades in a row like this, all winning, all entering and exiting at the price points you see here. This would be almost impossible to do by a human. So great performance here. I believe we hit our goal. I think the goal on this one is a thousand. And indeed it is. So we did hit our goal on the Dow E-mini. Okay, next up is the DAX. And we're currently long too uh, with an open P&L of 2225. We had a little bit of drawdown in the beginning here but uh, still our open position here uh, with a pretty uh, strong profit. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 5,000 tick line break chart. And this was pretty uh, mixed today, but ending up with 462 for the day, which is very good for the E-mini S&P. We had uh, a winner, a loser, a winner, and a loser. And that's what we ended up with. Our equity high was almost a thousand dollars. So our goal on this one uh, is twelve hundred. Uh, had it been a thousand, we probably would have been out. Uh, 
That's all for today's video. If you would like to find out more, please contact us at systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.